Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 92nd episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as well as the 32nd episode of Season 2 titled Rocky Just Wants to Have Fun. <sighs> we begin this episode at the Youth Center where Billy is tutoring Rocky in math, which is actually a really cool moment because you find out that for once, one of the Rangers isn't amazing at every single thing that they do. Rocky also mentions how his karate student is going to be showing up soon. Then Ernie shows off his new pachinko machine, which is basically hand waved as a fancy spin ball game from Asia because, well it is, but you collect pachinko balls as a reward. Thanks for knowing everything, Billy. Rocky tries it, and then he says, this is too fun, after literally nothing has happened. Zed sees this and says if Rocky wants fun, he'll make sure that's all he's gonna have. At least he finally gave up on targeting Adam. Zed casts a spell on the pachinko machine, which immediately hits Rocky, and Billy tells Rocky they need to finish studying, and Rocky basically tells him to shove it, nerd, because he's having fun. Now Serpentera is out and about with Zed and Goldar piloting on their way to the Earth. Rocky then calls Billy a nerd again before Skull shows up with a lot of maps and information, finding out that every time a monster has attacked Angel Grove, Ernie has had the day off. They then assume that Ernie is a Power Ranger. Rocky's karate student shows up and Rocky tells her to go away. <laughs> Billy meets up with the other rangers in the park who are playing with a frisbee. He lets them know that Rocky's kind of being a total dick and it's funny because they seem to assume that it just means that they might have just messed up picking out a new red ranger. Then Putty show up and there's a pretty good fight. Aisha is a total square who calls Zoran for help right away and Zoran says, I'll send Rocky. Alpha finally gets in touch with Rocky, who tells him to buzz off, but then he decides that he could have some fun at the park, so he shows up to goof off, basically. Zed then decides this is the moment he needs to turn something into a monster, and as Bulk and Skull get covered in popcorn distracting Ernie, the pachinko machine is zapped away. Then Ernie asks them if they've seen the machine, which is funny because Ernie just knew that they were there the entire time. The new monster, Pachinko Head, appears in front of them, and the six rangers morph while Rocky runs around like a freaking idiot in one of the most gift moments of Power Rangers history. Pachinko Head then turns Aisha, Kim, and Billy into big pachinko balls, leaving only Adam and Tommy. Then the monster starts playing soccer with the rangers in ball form with Rocky. Then, Adam tries to be brave and save the others, and he gets turned into a pachinko ball before he just turns around and transforms Rocky into one too. Tommy distracts the monster with the frisbee and collects his friends and teleports into the command center with them all. Tommy shows up to bitch about how Rocky sucks as a ranger, and Alpha runs a test, letting them know that he's been put under a spell. Zoran tells Tommy to go to the amusement park because Pachinko Head is on a rampage. Tommy then shows up to talk to Saba for like the third time ever before Pachinko Head runs away, and Goldar is mad that the monster wants to play instead of fight. Zed says, screw this, just make him big, so he does. Tommy calls out his White Tiger Thunder Zord, converting it immediately into warrior mode, fighting the giant monster. He gets hit out of the Zord pretty easily, falling onto the ground. Alpha restores Rocky first for some odd reason, but he's not under the spell anymore for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Rocky feels bad for being a sucky ranger, and he morphs out of there to help Tommy. He immediately calls out the Red Dragon Thunder Zord, converts it to warrior mode, and he just starts beating the monster instantly. Meanwhile, Alpha has to turn up the voltage on his device, and he frees the other rangers. Zordon says that Tommy's Zord is damaged, so they have to go help Rocky now. It's morphin' time! All four call out their Thunder Zords, forming the Thunder Megazord, and after a brief fight, they use the Thunder Saber, killing the monster. But what's this? Serpentara is now on Earth? For absolutely no reason whatsoever? He appears firing at them, and it knocks four rangers out of their zords, leaving just Rocky on his own. Thankfully, Tor comes out of literally nowhere, standing up and protecting the Red Dragon Thunder Zord before it's just kicked over by Serpentera again. Zed is getting all high and mighty in the giant dragon when suddenly the eyes go dark again, leaving Serpentera almost powerless. Again, they bail so that they can use whatever is left of their power to get back to the moon. What a waste of my time. At the youth center, a news report says how the Power Rangers saved the city and Bulk is mad at Skull because Ernie was there the entire time. Rocky shows up to meet with Aisha and Billy to let them know that he's going to hit the books with them after karate class and his student comes in. The pachinko machine appears back by Ernie and Ernie offers for Rocky to come play another round of pachinko and Rocky declines. 
the end. Okay, usually I'd say that this episode is absolutely terrible and one of the worst I've ever seen because I absolutely despised it as a child. Now, looking at it through adult eyes instead of a biased child, I can say that it's perfectly serviceable as an episode. I think the most interesting part of this episode is that it's originally titled, Jason Just Wants to Have Fun. Yeah. Before the switch up in cast, Scripts had obviously been written beforehand, and they just ended up doing a control find on some scripts and rewrote certain parts of others to make things work. That honestly makes a lot more sense for this episode because we don't know anything about Rocky at all. So him being a goofball could legitimately just be his character. If it were Jason, it'd make a little bit more sense. Other than that, the Serpentera part was so severely shoehorned in, it almost hurt. I don't know why they were just reusing footage from its debut in this episode, but well, there you have it. Will next time get any better? Until then, may the power protect you.